And let's say I ask you, well, what is the radius then? If, if s equals 14 centimeters and my angle is 100 degrees, then what is the length of the radius? So the first thing Anthony would want to do is say, I remember Mr. McLogan when I was sleeping in class that he said you cannot, you cannot use radians, or I'm sorry, you cannot use degrees in this problem. So I have my formula, s equals r times theta. I need to make sure I convert my angle in degrees into radians, right? And we did this on our last quiz. So you take 100 degrees times pi over 180. Yes? Yes? And I get 2 pi over 9. Check my math. Agree or disagree? Zeros. 10 over 9. 2 divides in the top 5 over 9, right? Not 2 over 9. 5 pi over 9. So 100 degrees is equivalent to 5 pi over 9. So now I have 14 centimeters is equal to um, r times theta. So r times theta, which is 5 pi over 9. Now again, what do I need to solve for? I need to solve for r, right? Uh, how do I get r by itself? When r is being multiplied by a fraction, to undo multiply by a fraction, I simply just need to multiply by the reciprocal. God, I think. <sighs> I think that might be the only thing my students will ever remember from me teaching. 9 times 5 pi. Now, um, I will tell you guys, if unless I give you, say, give me what the decibel approximation is, or um, make sure you round your answer, unless I tell you to round, or I ask you for the decimal approximation, just leave pi, just leave your answer in terms of pi. So for 1,000 extra credit points, Junho, what did you get? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you weren't uh, ready for that answer. All right, time has expired. Um, man, that was, you know, I don't like to give that offer, but I, you, sometimes I'll just throw it out there. So in this example, oh, wait, pie's in the bottom. So in this case, I have 126 divided by 5 pi, and that's it. Unless I was asking you guys to simplify your answer or round, that would be fine.